Let's take a look at a women's self-defense technique from China. When your attacker comes in with a slow motion punch and just leaves his arm there, you can totally do this and take him down with this shoulder lock. Neat. Let's try it out live. Ali on the right in the black shirt has never seen the self-defense technique go. before. He's been instructed to throw a slow motion right hand to leave it there and then follow up with whatever he feels like. Jordan is attempting to finish this women's self-defense technique, but to no avail. And that didn't work okay. out very well. So Ali still Ali doesn't know, still doesn't know what the technique is supposed to look Ali, like. He throws his slow motion punch, Linji attempts to trap the arm, and he keeps attempting to trap the arm. And Ali just does whatever he wants to, clinching, pushing, <laughs> kicking. Now it's my turn. I even get my elbow in there, but nope. Trapped in a tight collar tie, eating knees. Okay. Super slow motion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But why do you think people keep the punch there? <laughs> Nobody keeps yeah. it. Nobody would do that. Nobody yeah. would keep it there, right? They throw the punch and then they'll immediately follow up with another attack. Yeah, and very important, I didn't watch what they do. I was like watching another direction, so I didn't know how they would defend. Because it's just natural. Hmm. Let's try to make this a little bit better. Okay. All right, this time, Linji will be the attacker. Jordan will be the defender. Jordan will show us a more effective way to defend against an aggressive striker. Are you ready? And go. You'll probably go to prison for that, but you can't say it doesn't work. All right, let's talk about the key lock or the Americana or the chicken wing or whatever you want to call that. It is a legitimate technique, but it's not as easy to pull off as uh, shown in the video against somebody throwing a punch and just catching that punch. So if I'm in tight, close quarters here, it is totally possible I can get this lock and you'll notice the grip on the using. It's a figure four wrist lock or a top double wrist lock, as they call it in catch wrestling. All five fingers against here, all five fingers against here. Pull my elbows in very, very tight to the body. If they're loose, he'll slip right out, go ahead and get out. All right, if they're tight, now I've got a fighting chance to finish this. Now to finish this as a takedown, I'm going to bend my wrist forward, right down with pressure until he hits the floor and we can even finish the submission from right there. You come on down to the floor for a minute. If you're familiar with basic Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, okay, this is exactly the same move as the key lock, the Americana. Pull my elbows in here and apply downward pressure there. Okay. So the pressure comes from two places, pulling the elbows into the body, curling both wrists downward at the same time. So one more time here and here, and there we are. So again, we're never going to get this by catching a punch, it's just too fast. But on the other hand, if we move into a tight clinch situation, yeah, that's possible. Okay, I've seen some people teach this as knife self-defense against somebody who is attacking you, like Norman Bates in the movie Psycho. This last one is for anybody that may be getting hot over the head with either a bottle or a knife. Just block their attack with your forearm, put your other forearm above their elbow and simply just turn your body and walk round. Because all knife attackers attack like this, hi ya, hi -ya, right? I'm doing it slow, I even cut up my fingers, right? But let's, let's try this full speed. Okay, Linji, I want you to stab me as many times with that knife as you can before I can hopefully catch you with this joint lock. Ready? Go. Okay. Right? And the heart. Here, let's, uh, now I'll try it against you. You think you could catch me with that joint lock? All right, ready? Okay, that was a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. The thing is, knives are a super deadly weapon. They're not slow, doesn't take a great deal of power. Simple flicks of the wrist like that can do tremendous amounts of damage. It can not only stab, but it can cut backwards as well. So, yeah, don't play with knives. 
here's a better self-defense technique if somebody's coming at you like that or like this or however. <sighs> Running away, huh? Yes. Run away. So just one more question. If you couldn't run away, what would you do? Like if you would physic if you have been stopped physically from running away. Okay, like you're right, in the corner. So I can just traps. go here. Okay. What would you do? Is there anything else? Hmm, okay, yourself? good question. I am going to get really real with you guys for a minute. This is a live knife attack. This woman is getting stabbed. And she is doing everything that self-defense instructors tell you to do. Walking in public, with friends, in broad daylight, and she still got attacked. If somebody intends to hurt you with a knife, they're not going to advertise it. They're not going to ask nicely. They're not going to show you the weapon and say, here it comes. They're not going to play out a live fantasy reenactment of Taken with Liam Neeson. They're just going to stab you. This is why you would not be able to run in a real life scenario. However, we're going to entertain some of these fantasy scenarios of what if the guy shows you the knife and you know it's coming and for whatever reason you can't run away just for kicks and giggles. If you are forced into a conflict with a knife, you have to understand this. You will get stabbed. Not might get stabbed. You will get stabbed. I can't stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, so what do you do? Oh, probably take a knife fighting class. Hmm. <laughs> okay. But um, let's, instead of talking about it, let's be about it. I'm stuck against an obstacle. Lynchy's over here. Maybe he's got this knife right up to my body. Okay? I have to understand that offering resistance is going to get me stabbed. But here's the good news. Stab victims have and I'm gonna have to look this up, I believe it's like a 60% chance of survival. That's pretty good, it's better than nothing. So you're gonna get stabbed, but there's a 60% chance you're gonna survive. With life-altering wounds afterward, but still, you'll be alive. Okay. Linji, are you ready? Yep. So, what I'm trying to do right here is control this knife by pressing it and him up against the wall. Now it's possible, I, I don't want him to change hands, and he can still even cut my wrist from right here. I don't want him to be able to change hands, which is why I'm pinning his other hand up here. I don't know if you can see this. And eventually, we're going to have to change strategies a little bit, so maybe, maybe start um, distracting him elsewhere. But I'm using my hand and this. But I'm going to tell you, there's a high probability I would have been stabbed right there. Let's just run this a few more times. Okay, maybe Lynch is an experienced attacker. See, he just changed hands because I didn't move. And this is a really, really important concept. Sorry guys, this audio is terrible because of the fans in the background. But I'm just going to do a voiceover. Everybody keeps telling me I need to do voiceover, so I'll do my own. So if we just do hand fighting, without moving our feet, we will get stabbed and cut up. There's no exception to that. So if you move, your wrists might get cut up, but at least your torso, your vital organs, your head will be spared to a greater extent. Look at Jordan and Nils drilling this exercise. Jordan moves his feet with his hands. Nils is attempting to thrust that knife into his torso or into his head. It's a rubber knife, don't worry about. Jordan, he's good with his hands. Nils is going to explain this drill in just a bit. But again, focus on movement. So this is actually like just a knife drill John and me are working on sometimes after class. And um, the interesting thing is that Jordan understands one thing. He knows that he's going to bring his head uh, and his body back and his arms forward. That's the first thing. So um, what I want to explain, this is what he's doing really well and I'm really trying to to step him so I'm not going nice on him so the other thing I just wanted to mention because we just uh, we're discussing how to um, use a knife just because uh, for the case that there's any comments it's like why is he not doing it like this it's very simple because I can do the same at the boss 
uh, at both um, at the same time. So you just block it, just do that very with this hand. I'm doing this, I'm doing this. The reason why I'm not holding it like this is if he's too slow, I go here. That's the reason. But with Jordan, what he's doing, why this is so difficult to actually from, for me to step him is because he's not static. So it's not like he's staying here. So he's basically moving. Try this improvised knife self-defense again. I just got stabbed in the heart right off the get-go. I'm trying to control the knife with two hands. I'm trying to push Linji up against the wall. His hand slips out from my grip. He stabs me in the back. I come around the back. I don't know how I would react having just been stabbed. I'm sure it would be very, very differently than this. I'd probably be in shock. Who knows? Oh, man. It's very difficult, so man. even from the start there, I got stabbed in the heart. Hmm. So the point is, there is no quick trick to knife fighting. Mm. Just like there's no quick trick to fist fighting. You get into a fist fight, you're gonna get punched. If you get into a knife fight, you're gonna get stabbed. If you get into a gun fight, you're gonna get shot. The sooner you accept that, the easier it's gonna be. Sorry to be a downer on the self-defense party, but that is the truth. So, train as much as you can but at the same time, don't live gripped in a uh, world of fear and paranoia. The bad guys are always going to jump out of the shadows and get you because life, most of the time, isn't like that. Thanks for watching. Get out there and train.